Hello viewers! Is your car constantly overheating despite its cooling system, water pump, radiator, fan and so on being in perfect condition? Or maybe you've seen large clouds of white smoke coming out of the tailpipe even when its engine is fully warmed up? Well, this especially if it's accompanied by an ongoing coolant loss might be a warning sign of a broken head gasket. But how to tell if that's the case and more importantly what to do if it is? Well, that's what we're going to find out right now. A head gasket is one of the key engine components and its failure can cause all sorts of issues, including overheating, coolant loss and drops in performance. But let's check each of these in a bit more detail. Of all the things a blown head gasket might cause, engine overheating is the one you're likely to spot first, with the temperature gauge often going into the red area. Now, as you may imagine, this can happen if something's wrong with the cooling system. Clogged radiator, worn water pump, stuck thermostat, what have you. But if all this is fine, there's a good chance the head gasket is cracked, which allows exhaust gases to enter the cooling system and push it beyond its limits. Regardless of what's the cause, you should never drive your car when the engine is overheating, as this can lead to cylinder head warping and damage to the catalytic converter. Both of these problems will only add further expenses to your car repair bills. Also, these escaping gases will put the cooling system, or in some cases, oil breather assembly under pressure, which is not designed to cope with this. As a result, you might have radiator hoses that continue to blow or struggle to keep the dipstick secure in its place. Both these situations are an indicator of a deeper mechanical issues and shouldn't be ignored. Another thing a broken head gasket might cause is a coolant loss, which gets past it and into the engine cylinders, where it gets burned during a combustion process. So if your car is continuously losing coolant and there are no leaks anywhere, the head gasket is the next thing to check. Still, what I must mention here are diesel engines, which usually have an EGR cooler that uses coolant. These devices are known to crack, especially on some models, causing issues often mistakenly interpreted as a blown head gasket. If the head gasket has cracked, you might see a thick white smoke coming from the tailpipe. To be honest, this might be nothing more than condensation and water vapor, which are generated during the engine's normal operation and usually create clouds of white smoke when the outside temperatures are low. But if you see this during hot summer days, with the car fully warmed up, this might mean the coolant is leaking into the cylinders. This is especially true if the smoke has a sweetish smell and the car is losing coolant. Then we have the engine running issues which are quite likely to appear because of all this. For one, the coolant that gets into the cylinders will offset the air-fuel mixture, which is a bad thing on its own. And to make things worse, a cylinder whose head gasket is cranked won't be sealed properly, with some of its compression escaping into the cooling system. All this might, and probably will, cause the engine to run rough and uneven, especially at idle, or even misfire. You might also notice a strange sound, something like an exhaust leak, especially under acceleration. Also, all these said issues will almost definitely trigger a check engine light, with various misfire-related codes being stored in the car's ECU. Another common symptom of a failed head gasket is a milky, sludge-like substance on the oil filler cap, dipstick or inside the coolant tank. It looks like a milkshake and happens because coolant has leaked into the oil or vice versa. Still, what needs to be pointed out here is that there are other causes for this. For instance, frequent short trips on cold days can cause condensation inside the engine, which mixes up with oil and doesn't have a chance to evaporate. Also, most cars today have an oil cooler, which, similar to the EGR cooler I've mentioned earlier, use coolant. If it cracks, the engine oil will force its way into the cooling system where it mixes with coolant and creates a sludgy substance in the coolant reservoir. But whatever the cause, you don't want to drive with contaminated oil as this will damage the big end bearings and other moving engine components. Lastly, I must mention leaks once more because a cracked head gasket may also cause the coolant to leak outside the engine, running down its block and surrounding components. While this doesn't cause any further issues on its own, it's messy, and if the coolant level drops too low, it can cause the engine to overheat, leading to permanent damage. 
The head gasket sits between the engine block and the cylinder head, forming an airtight seal that keeps pressurized gases within the cylinders during combustion. There are also multiple holes through which the oil and coolant flow back and forth. Obviously, if the head gasket breaks, something will leak and mix with something else depending on where the crack is. For instance, if it's here between the cylinder and the coolant passage, you'll have an overheating situation accompanied by a coolant loss and white smoke from the exhaust. A crack bridging coolant and oil passages will result in that white sludge we mentioned earlier. Also, there might be a crack between two cylinders, say here, causing them both to be down on compression. The head gasket in most cars is made from several layers of thin metal and durable yet elastic rubber around the cylinders and passages for coolant and oil. This is a far more robust solution than the ones on older cars, which used asbestos and graphite and were far more prone to failure. The head gasket failure is most commonly caused by engine overheating when the metal, the block and the cylinder head expand more than they should, putting excessive strain on the gasket, which then cracks. This is why you should never continue driving the car if it's running too hot. Other things that can damage the head gasket include abnormal combustion, such as pinging or pre-ignition, and rapid, abrupt temperature changes. This, for instance, would be starting the car in the morning and flooring it right away before the engine hasn't warmed up. Also, if the head gasket has been previously replaced and not fitted correctly, this can lead to its damage. In the end, what you surely want to know is how much will it cost to fix a broken head gasket. On its own, this is not an overly expensive part. It's usually priced between $50 and $100. But to replace it, you'll have to quite literally rip the engine apart. Or to be more precise, remove the cylinder head. And you can't just install the new head gasket and put everything back as it wouldn't seal properly. Instead, you need to have the cylinder head resurfaced, which is done on a milling machine that smooths out its surface where it meets the gasket. Also, while at it, the valves should be lapped, a process that improves how they seal against their seats, and the new valve stem seals should be installed. And when installing the now refurbished cylinder head, You'll need a new exhaust manifold gasket and head bolts, as the old ones can be reused. Even more, the timing belt or chain, which had to be removed during dismantling, should be replaced with a new set as well. On top of that, you need to factor in the labor costs, as this elaborate job is best left for a professional, seasoned mechanic to do. Depending on the car and the complexity of its engine, it could take 8 hours or more until the whole job is completed. Once all this is added up, you'll end up paying way over $1000 to replace the broken head gasket. Pretty expensive, considering it costs less than 100 bucks. So that would be all about the head gasket. Why it may fail and what could happen if that's the case. But I truly hope that's not the case with your car. Anyway, if you found this video to be helpful, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. On the other hand, if you're having other car related issues, check out the rest of the videos here or visit our site mechanicbase.com for more detailed automotive repair guides. Bye!